Hi, and welcome to Scratch Lesson 4. This lesson will be about drawing. So, in the pen block palette, there'll be different green blocks that we can use to draw things. In the top, next to your sprite, we'll show you the color of your pen. When you click pen up, there will be no color because the pen will not be touching the stage. So now, we can have a motion block of move 50 steps and also a turn 60 degrees block and snap those two together. So now just as we use the sprite to move around, we can have it draw by putting the pen down from the pen section of our pen block palette. Now if we click on this six times, it will rotate 60 degrees, then move 50 steps, rotate 60 degrees, move 50 steps, creating a six-sided figure or a hexagon. And you can use the clear button from the pen to clear any drawings that you created. So now instead of repeating this, clicking on it six times, we can use the repeat block and snap it around it and change that to six. So now when you run that script, it will draw a hexagon. You can move your sprite around the stage and run the script and it will draw that hexagon each time because it will put the pen down and then run through the script six times. Some cool features that you can do with the pen is change the color. So if you use the pen, change pen color by 10, it will create an effect changing the color each time it goes going through the color wheel. So you'll have multi-colored pen drawings. You can also change the costume by painting a new one or editing the existing one. We're going to clear out the scratch cat and we're going to make this costume just be one single dot because all you need is one dot for the, for the sprite to draw. If you think about the sprite as a pen, the pen tip is the only thing touching the paper. So now if you have one dot, that's all you need to have it draw on the stage. You can change the stage background to black when we're changing different colors to have it look for a cool effect. So we went into the backgrounds tab of the stage and selected the paint bucket and painted the background black. So now you can see your drawings a little bit better. So going back to sprite 1, we can have some control to this section by repeating, by using the repeat 10 step, 10 times block. Also, we can have it turn 15 degrees counterclockwise and also move 10 steps. We're going to make this go in a circle. So what we're going to do is have it repeat 60 times turning six degrees. So every single time it's going to move ten steps, turn six degrees, and that's going to repeat sixty times because six times sixty is thirty-six is three hundred and sixty, which is a full circle. Now if we put incorporate that into the hexagon figure, it will draw that hexagon in a complete circle every single time. So we'll draw a hexagon, rotate, draw a hexagon, rotate, draw a hexagon, rotate, and also change the pen color. So now we have a full cool design in our stage. You can change around by changing the degrees it turns and how many times it repeats. This one we changed it to repeat 10 times and turn 36 degrees each time creating a decagon or a ten-sided figure. In playing around with this script, you can change it to have any shape rotate. And moving different portions of this script around to have it change what it does. Now we can have it say, you have the sprite go to the center of the stage or go to point zero zero where x equals zero and y equals zero, which is the center of the stage. And then when you run the script, it will run from the exact center of the stage, creating a multicolored figure on the stage. Now using these drawings, you can right-click 
and then select a region to create a new sprite. Highlight your sprite that you just, the drawing that you just drew, and then you can make it into a new sprite. Now you can use that sprite in any of your Scratch projects. Thank you for watching Lesson 4, and have fun with Scratch.